Welcome to the first bonus lesson of this introduction to digital electronics course. In this lesson, we'll be looking over the various advanced logic devices offered in the 7400 series of integrated circuits. We'll also pick out a few commonly used 7400 series ICs and give them a test to see what they can do and how we can use them. The extensive list of 7400 series ICs can be seen in an awesome list on Wikipedia's website. Many of the ICs even have a good description and link to the device's datasheet. However, if you need to find out how a specific 7400 series IC works, it's always best to go to the manufacturer's website and just look it up yourself. The three ICs that we'll be taking a closer look at today are the 74HC138, a 3 to 8 decoder, the 74HC193, a 4 bit counter, and the 74HC595, an 8 bit shift register. When you look at the datasheet for any of the 7400 series logic devices, you'll be greeted with a similar format every time. The first page will show you the device's pinout and description. Then there will be some device characteristics, a logic diagram, timing diagram, and sometimes a truth table. Here we can see the logic diagram and truth table for the 74HC138. This device is usually used for address decoding and device selection. A 3-bit address is input in and depending upon that address, one of the Y outputs is set to logic 0 selecting a device. Next, we have the 74HC193. This is a 4-bit counter, similar to the one we built earlier in the course with 4D flip-flops. The main difference is that it can count up and down, as well as be preset to certain values. On pages 3 and 4 of the schematic, you can see the logic symbol for this counter and the logic diagram for the counter. Notice how the diagram uses 4 flip-flops, not too dissimilar from how we built our own 4-bit counter. The last device we'll look at is the 74HC595, an 8-bit shift register. Here you can see the description and data flow diagram. And on pages 3 and 4, the logic diagram, logic symbol, and part pinouts are present. Notice again that in their logic diagram, their shift register is using D flip-flops, exactly as we did earlier in the course. On the final pages of the data sheet, you can see the pinout description truth table, and timing diagram for the 8-bit shift register. A fun and quick experiment we can perform to see how much easier it can be to use these more advanced 7400 logic ICs is to build an 8-LED Knight Rider circuit. This time, we'll use the more advanced 74HC138 3-8 decoder with the 74HC193 4-bit counter and a 555 timer as the clock signal to drive the circuit. Doing it this way might make it sound more complex, but let's look at the schematic before casting any stones. The counter counts up initially, changing which output on the 74HC138 is active until it reaches Y7, at which point the SR latch is set, and the counter starts counting down until it reaches Y0, and the SR latch is reset, so that the counter can start counting up again. This process repeats over and over until infinity. So let's look at the parts necessary to build this. We'll need our jumper wire kit, a breadboard, 9 volt battery, and from the components kit, 9 10 kilo ohm resistors, 8 100 ohm resistors, 8 red LEDs, a 10 and 100 microfarad capacitor, a 7805 5 volt regulator, a 9 volt battery connector, one 74HC00, one 74HC02, one 74HC138, one 74HC193, a 555 timer, and if you want for fun, you can use the crystal oscillator for the system clock to see how it works. To build this circuit, we'll start by adding the 7805 and the 9 volt battery connector at the far end of the breadboard. 
An orange wire will connect the ground from the 7805 to the ground bus of the breadboard. And a green wire will connect the plus 5 volt output from the 7805 to the power bus of the breadboard. Two red wires will connect the two ground and power buses of the breadboard together. Now we place down all the ICs on the breadboard. As before, please watch and follow the step-by-step -step construction or follow the schematic to make all of the connections. This is a difficult circuit, so each connection is shown in our time-lapse construction video that you see now. With everything built, let's power the system up and see if it works. It better. The LED begins shifting back and forth, as expected. It's a little slow, so if you want to make it a little cooler and move faster, you can swap out the 100 microfarad capacitor with a 10 microfarad capacitor and watch the Knight Rider shift more quickly. Somehow, when it moves faster, our eyes and brains like to stare at it even more. Just like in previous lessons, if you're curious to see what happens when you apply a super fast clock instead of the 555 timer, add in the crystal oscillator as the clock and see what happens. In modern electronic digital design, 7400 series ICs, especially the low voltage ones, are used all over the place. These ICs perform generic digital functions, and so if you have a problem to solve with digital logic, these ICs can act as the puzzle pieces you need to build a solution. An all digital hardware project that is fun to refer back to is the Masochist video card, built with all 7400 logic ICs. All of the concepts and ideas you learned in this course were used in creating this hardware VGA output card. All parts in this online course were provided by the Gadgetory. Visit them at gadgetory.com slash pyroedu. This concludes our first bonus lesson for this course. Next week, we'll learn about the other type of specialized logic, 4000 series logic devices.